Looks like it's none now, but it could easily be Bond. You know, it could be any of them. The switch. All Hard it takes is say. one pair of glasses, whether they have whether they're polarized or whether they're missing an eye. That determines quite a lot moving into this next set here. Um, and I think the onus is going to be on Bobby to kind of figure out how he's going to get around one of these three players. Yeah, I it I you know it's funny seeing these two match up because if you were to give me a list of some of the most like colorful stylish players in the game ever these two would not only absolutely be on the list but they're like near the top of the list like bobby you know is a player that for all of his kind of faults is just got some of the sickest falco stuff i've ever seen you know like even though he's not top 10 he is pushing the kind of meta game in such an interesting and creative way and it looks like we're about to see that here on battlefield Yep, game one getting right into it, and the pace is already off to the races right now. Bobby with the first punish, but let's see if he can extend this further. Big damage, the downer, and that might be enough, but no Ooh, way. No. Already? Come on now. Okay, oh, uh, he's going to keep doing it, and then I think he dies eventually, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no. but as we say that, what a janky sequence to start this off. A beautiful shine out of shield goes for the forwarder. It might have been a down air instead, but is he going to get this edge guard? No, he does not. But the punish has not stopped, and he can close it out here. This is so back and forth. Yeah, Radar, it reminded me of the start of, oh my gosh, with the command grab, but just the start of how uh, Gommel 2021 went, where these two were just off to the races right away. A bit of a flub in the beginning here, but let's see who can strike first, and that might set the tone for the rest of this game. No, absolutely. At this percent, really any opening will do it. And just as I say that, F-Tilt closes it out. But now, you know, Falcon in a bit of a tricky spot. He has to kind of play carefully or he's going to get shut down like we just saw. But none looking for a Nair now, the low percent. Something to open up Falco and, you know, get the lead more in his favor. Yeah, there's the Nair that you're talking about. Not quite able to get the tech read there. And it's Bobby's turn for Punish again, though. They're back and forth on who finds these neutral openings. But it's only one, two, th maybe three hits. Not a lot of substantial combos just yet. Yeah, you know, you say neutral openings. That's why they call it a neutral air, man. Falcon relies on it in pretty much every situation. And, you know, what makes it sort of separate you from different players. Beautiful. I love the hugs, by the way. You know, these guys are true homies. Hugging them on every platform. But the way... Uh, you separate Falcon players. It's just how they like to drift with their Nair. Are they drifting in? Are they drifting away? Are they drifting like in place? Like how do they do it? And that kind of defines a lot of their playstyle. None kind of giving Bobby a second chance here finds the need to wrap that one up, nonetheless. But here we go. A bit of a deficit now for Bobby. Ugh. Tried to get the turnaround jab, not quite able to get there. And rising back here might be enough to do it. Two stocks apiece, only seven percent taken. You know, so far oh, no. this has been. But oh no is right very very solid i was gonna say but you know one of the things i think i've seen from bobby in their previous sets is just not converting as hard as you would like and that is not what we're seeing right now dude he is taking <laughs> we're seeing a bit way. of a conversion but none just breaks it all back up with the nair again and it's corner pressure from the captain falcon gets caught without the gentleman but it doesn't matter here comes the stomp what's the follow-up doesn't quite get there on the tech read into the knee still on pressure right now there's the ledge and we see that ledge dash into shield, and that's always kind of a bit of a comfort option if you're not super comfortable with your ledge dashes. Maybe if they're not as crispy, they don't have as much gallant, some would say, then you're going for that shield, and it gets a little bit predictable if you're none. So definitely something we want to watch out for. Ooh, single laser just enough for Bobby to break out of that and maintain a bit of advantage here, but down a stock. Stomp, very necessary, got the DI down so he doesn't get popped up from it. Oh, just get out of there, yeah. Yeah, I always like to see when players just kind of recognize they're in a bad spot. And instead of trying to force the situation, they just jump right out, reset the situation and get a lot safer and don't kind of throw away a lead unnecessarily. Oh, patience. He really, he really waited <laughs> until the last minute for that one. No, absolutely. But 86 is no joke. Most openings will do a lot, but I like lasering from this the corner huge. with so much confidence. Ooh, back to neutral. Oh, very, so very tough, tough position right now. Finds the laser, gets through. You know, okay, needs so, to recover. It's so crazy because, wow, there it goes. It's so crazy because this is a matchup that, you know, is just as precise in the March uh, as the Marth Peach that we saw earlier, but in such a different fast paced way. You know, they're constantly trying to call out like, what is this guy going to do and how am I going to deal with it? And uh, it's been crazy so far.
Yeah, and again, we're seeing kind of similar shades to some of these other tournaments we alluded to before the set started, right? One stock, very close, Bobby with the makings of a comeback, but just not quite able to close the door, and it's none getting on the board first here. What's What does he have to do to get on here and, and take a set over our second seed of this tournament? Yeah, I think one of the big things is just punishing a bit harder, specifically at the edge. You know, we see right now, like this is this is what I'm talking about. Doesn't drop like drops a very oh no, very that's massive. That is massive. Do you see what I'm saying? Like he isn't really able to deal with some of the drift mix up that none has. And it's just like it's a timing thing. Like if you do that downer a little bit later, you get it, but he's not comfortable with calling it out. And now he's down almost two stocks. Oh, but gets a freebie from none. Yeah, and I mean, the, the Nair was perhaps a little overambitious there. I would almost expect him to just go for the up air and then, you know, maybe stock trade at that point if he really had to. But none just kind of losing the stock, giving one right back to Bobby after the miscue at the beginning of this game. We're at three stocks apiece right out the gates right now. And here comes Bobby with the damage. When this, this is another important moment, an edge guard situation from oh Bobby. God. Kind of putting this is this is the problem with him, man. Is he always makes it? He works way harder than he needs to. You know, like this this sequence has been going on for so long. He got something like a hundred percent from it, but he could have killed them like eighty percent earlier, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, we we said it earlier I, uh, on a block with Blur as well, where it's you know the players who are very good at doing all the hard stuff, but then just fall short at the gimmies right at the very end. And if that's not Bobby to a T, where he can just do everything you want him to do except finish the stock sometimes, and we're seeing that kind of in full effect on this FD game as Nun's kind of clawing his way back now to make this a two-stock game. Yeah, this is the tricky thing about Melee, is that sometimes these long, drawn-out combos look cool, they feel cool when you're hitting them, but, you know, if you're not converting off them, it's kind of just a waste. It's like going to a store and handing them an extra $20 and being like, yay, I, I can do more. It's like, but but sir, it only costs 10. And you're like, no, 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 I got this, don't worry. And every time he's just like wasting it a little bit. And, you know, even as I say that, this has been beautiful, beautiful SEI from none yeah. as well. That's the almost classic Bobby, right? The reverse hit, first hit forward air. Not quite able to close out the stock right there, but damn, did it look good. Let's see if he can get there on there. Here comes the damage from Nun, though. Late hit and up air, and that might be enough to do it. Overzealous, though, on the back air, and that's going to cost him last stock for both of these players yet again. You know, you bring up that late hit up air. That's such an important moment. It was a tech trap. Bobby was expecting him to go for the tech, and, you know, you don't even get a time to talk about it. the high-level analysis because Nun closes it out, takes the edge guard, and it's looking rough for Bobby, man. It's it's the same thing, you know, every single set that we've been seeing, you know, whether it's Get On My Line, whether it's Levo, whether it's a, a melee at Xanadu for, you know, for all intents and purposes, every game looks incredibly close, but Bobby just has not been able to close the door on this. So now he has to face down a reverse 3-0, returning back to the counter pick on FD right here. Let's see if he can get on the board. Oh man. You know, just as you're saying that, none finding a way to kind of turn disadvantageous situations into advantageous ones. Pulls away from the corner, gets a quick tech chase situation, and takes a lead once again. Bobby just not really able to deal with it. But what is he going to do here? This is an edge guard moment. Really big opportunity. And he's going to close it out. That's one of the first edge guards he's closed out really quickly in the whole set. Yeah, let's see if that theme persists right now. But it is none just getting all over it. Bobby breaks it up with the get up attack. Not quite able to get there, and they're just trading hits back and forth now, Radar. Ooh, but maybe he just takes a whole stock. I don't know. I love the forward air there. See, again, I don't want to sound critical of Bobby because he's got these really creative extensions. You know, a lot of Falcons there. They might go for, uh, sorry, Falcos. They might go for a Nair. They might go for like an F-Tilt, something safe. He goes for a forward air and gets a guaranteed kill off of it. So it's this creativity that's gotten him into top eight in the first place, but he just needs to tighten up these certain moments like this. Where, you know, that was an edge guard situation once again, if we want to see kind of Falco shine all the way through, no pun intended. Yeah, here we go. Bobby <laughs> extending there, this man. lead right now. Okay, shine to keep it going. Weak hit in air, that was so unique. Okay, he, he's this really just saying, doing man. the most. It's like, it's like, it, the, again, people will call me critical, but it's because I'm a Falco player, and I'm like, oh my god, beautiful. We hit an air into Forder, gets him on the stage, and then does these random side Bs for no reason, man. <laughs> like, just take the stock. 
Might be able to find it right here, but let's see if he has a brand new mix-up. None actually with the change-up right there, drifting back to ledge and then just missing it on the right side, going coast to coast. Now Bobby with the lead right here, potentially trying to get one on the board against none in a reverse 3-0 that he needs to advance one round further here. This is such a sick punish so far. Um, okay, one of the things I want to say is, you know, I've been critical of Bobby's edge guards, but Nun's recovery is really, really hard to deal it with. It is, it His is. His drifts are so good, and, like, Bobby has Ooh. been... Like, look at this punish so far. He's gonna take this. I think he's got the... No, 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 what are you doing? What? Wait, wait. what? Wait, what? Quit? What? 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 Okay, okay. Oh, he did it. <laughs> he did it. Okay. You know, I gotta say, production didn't have that much faith in Bobby either, but somehow he clutched it out, man. He I made thought, it work. I thought that he quit after SDing, and he, I was like, wait, you have a whole stock left. What are you doing? But yeah. there, okay, so Bobby gets one now, but it's two counter picks from none in order to just close this one out and move on to winner's finals for this tournament. I don't know, where, where are your head at if you're, if you're in the driver's seat of uh, Bobby right now? Like, where are we going for a counter pick, or, or just what are you feeling if you're Bob? What is he? Yeah, where, where, I mean, where do you think Nunn wants to go? He has kind of the pick of the litter, two, two options to, to play around with, but I don't know. It's I'm just kind of dreamland. I think, um, one of the things that Bobby doesn't do as much as say, like a ginger type of Falcon, or as much, he, um, doesn't threaten the space that Falcon has when he's running around, and Nunn handles that space very effectively. Um, it gives him more room to kind of mix up his drift. It gives him more room to kind of keep Bobby guessing. And if Bobby doesn't use those lasers to kind of slow him down, then Dreamland, already a stage that Falcon likes, becomes like a bit of his kryptonite. So that's where I'm expecting it to go. But Pokemon Stadium, you know, with all that said, Pokemon I mean, Stadium, also sure. option. All right, Why game not? four. This is a set point again for none right now. And he drop zone might be enough, but he just extends it with the shine. I mean, Dare would not have been enough to kill right away, but still, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's that that's one of those situational things where like it's hard to know should he be going for the shine and trying to set up an you know, oh 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 my god, dude, what? Beautiful tech down though. This is, this is why Nun's defenses are so good. Okay, as I say that gives it away for free. All right, three stocks apiece right now, just ex exhausting the invincibility. I like that decision from Bobby, playing a bit more reserved, but none is all over it again. Yeah, no. Do you want... Oh, beautiful. Okay, so that is a mix-up I would love to talk about. There is a thing where Falcon is off stage, and Falcon wants to go for a runoff down air to call out Falcon uh, just before he jumps. But if Falcon knows it's coming, he can do an immediate up air and take the stock instead. And that is exactly what we saw from Nun. He's one of the few players that really implements that every single time in this matchup, and it's what makes him so good at it. Yeah, truly insane. Just the amount of off stage play I mean, every single stock right now has just been some version of offstage shenanigans, not kind of like your traditional bread and butter edge guards right here. Bobby's going to even it back up with the snipe right there, but let's see what none just a hard read on the knee. Big stomp, and here comes damage again. Ooh, Make it two knees God. and an entire stock to boot. This is set point now for none. Yeah, that, this, I, again, I actually think Bobby's been playing this pretty well. Um, you know, he's been making none really have to work for stuff, and his punishes so far have been pretty solid. Like, even this, already 46, 50, like, you know, beautiful stock, right? He absolutely can take this. It's just how good is none at sort of snuffing out that momentum, and just as I say that, we're seeing just why he's such a threat. Second oh hit gosh. in air, that converts into the yeah. grab. Big read with the stomp, and there he finds the, the shield drop attempt from Bobby and Nun's just gonna clean it up right there, Radar. Oh my gosh. Yeah, th this is this is what you see from, this is what separates great and good players is Bobby actually had sick defense there. He put himself in a situation where like really nothing could be kind of hitting him with the light shield. And then what does uh, Nun go for? One of the only options that actually would cover it, an up B. Breaks your grab entirely, loot, beats shield entirely and takes the set for it. Like he's, He's such a smart player, and I don't think people talk about that enough with none. Like the Wizzy fan, six, you know, the Wizzy fan in there, it's, it's, you know, what keeps him going, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, just want to give a shout out to Bobby's player cam at the end of that. Just looked completely shocked, and I, I 